My name is Alex Sale. I'm a junior in chemical engineering at the Colorado School of Mines here. Um, I'm originally from Lakewood, Colorado, and I'm studying um, thin film photocatalysts for water splitting. Um, basically, my um, research is on the morphology of these thin films, um, how we can control whether we get a nano rod or a nanoparticle um, in the solution, as well as you know which one actually performs best to split water um, for hydrogen use. So basically, how we make these uh, nano structures is we. Uh, place these samples um, in a solution of an iron salt and a sodium salt and we place them in a water bath set to 90 degrees C. Um, we set that for two hours or varying the time depending on um, the experiment going on and what happens is we end up creating um, these thin films and the one on the right is what happens right after the deposition in the water bath and then after that, we take them and put them in a furnace um, and basically oxidize them to make little rust nanoparticles, and that's the one on the left. Basically what I'm doing is I take an iron salt and a sodium salt, and I do different combinations with tons of different salts and put them in a solution to deposit on the samples. And what happens is each different combination creates different morphologies. So like, for example, iron nitrate and sodium nitrate, they create these little nanoparticles. They look like little balls. I mean, um, and then, um, for example, um, sodium sulfate tends to create um, like a web um, instead of like rods or particles, um, which we found that actually the webs don't really perform as well as the others. So it's kind of interesting to see um, which combinations are actually best to um, advance these thin films. And there's a lot of people don't understand about this, right? Yeah, um, you know, I'm doing these different combinations because people don't really understand, you know, how to control which morphologies um, they want to create, and um, they just really don't understand the solution chemistry that goes on in the deposition. So this apparatus right here uh, measures the current through um, the circuit where we take our oxidized sample and we place it in a sodium hydroxide solution and shine light through it and um, it measures the current um, in the circuit that it creates. I think it's interesting to see the potential that you know if we do find something it may really greatly advance you know solar applications um, for energy. Yeah it's great for an undergrad to be exposed to research because you know a lot of undergrads don't really get that um, opportunity and you know, it's great to see, you know, whether we like it or whether we don't before we get to grad school. And it's great with the REU program with the Remersec. Um, they just make it a great opportunity for us undergrads and they make it worthwhile and um, they're really there to help us. So if we ever need anything, it's just a great, great program. It's going to look great on our resume. You know, the experience that we get here is fantastic. The, not only the lab technical experience, but you know we get experience with um, you know using a lab notebook, um, making presentations, and you know just being exposed to the research world is definitely worthwhile.